All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to share once again with you our upcoming rugs for our exciting, spooktacular October auction. The very first rug I'm gonna share with you today is right here. Now, this beautiful Serapi carpet is quite intriguing. Now, the most common colors are brownish red, light and dark pink, light and dark blue, greens, yellows, and ivory can all be found throughout Serapis. However, blue and ivory are normally added in order to create a contrast here. And as you see, there's a beautiful contrast. Excellent carpet, great weave. All right, and here we have a vintage and finely hand-knotted silk carpet, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, this carpet is silk. But what I love about this carpet most is this absolutely beautiful green field and then the hints of blue scattered throughout. Well executed. Next up is a carpet with a lot of character. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a beautifully nicely sized hand knotted carpet. Great pattern here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's an absolutely delightful carpet, ladies and gentlemen, with a central medallion. I truly like the size of this carpet, and I love the fact that there's a beautiful moss green here in the corners. Very lovely. Here's a lovely vintage carpet here, ladies and gentlemen, finely knotted by hand with great pattern and an urn spewing flowers into a nice open field. Be sure to check out the photographs of this carpet online, lot number 381, it's quite special. And what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? By God, just look at all of these fine, handly knotted rugs, and I can't wait to have them in your home, and they could be on October 15th, here at Clark Auction Gallery. It's beginning at 10 a.m., happy bidding. All right, and here's a spectacular runner because it's a tribal runner, ladies and gentlemen. Very beautiful and interesting pattern here. I absolutely love that off-white cream color. Truly makes this runner pop. Here's a great rug with beautiful colors and good age to it. Excellent nodding. And here we have a spectacular Kashan rug. Now, Kashan rugs date back to the 16th century. These early Kashan rugs were characterized by their fine weave, high knot density, and intricate patterns, as well as motifs. This carried out up to the present day. Here's a fine vintage hand-woven rug, ladies and gentlemen. I love the color scheme here. Very intriguing, has a very almost washed look to it. Beautiful teals and greens and blues come together to create an exquisite palette, a desirable color for every person. And for the final rug is this lovely vintage rug, ladies and gentlemen. This again is a wonderful hand knotted carpet, just beautiful, good age. I like the pink and the yellow. It's very playful and blue speckle throughout. Well, here I am again, this time not with carpets, but with all of our amazing clocks in this upcoming October 15th auction. The very first clock I'd like to share with you is a truly spectacular French clock. Just look at the sheer monumental size of this clock. What a central, well-executed bronze cherub perched atop this beautifully gilt case amongst a pair of birds. A magnificent timepiece. Here I have an antique terracotta, beautiful figural three graces clock, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wonderful timepiece. I love it. I thought I'd share it with you. Special indeed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have far too many clocks to share with you, but just take a look at this shelf. I've got everything in here from garniture sets to gilt bronze clocks to corniche case carriage clocks. Everything that you could want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now this is a very special clock here. Now this is a potential Simon Willard grandfather clock. 
by consigner provenance. This clock was executed by the truly legendary clockmaker Simon Willard of Roxbury and Grafton, Massachusetts. Now he is best known for creating the eight-day patent, better known as the gallery or banjo clock. But with that said, I'm leaving this up to all of our experts out there to determine if this is a Simon Willard clock. Next, I have a beautiful, classic, mahogany-cased grandfather clock. And just beside that grandfather clock, what do I have? Two antique French grandfather clocks. These are quite well executed, and it's two clocks, one money. This is truly an auction for all of our horologists out there. This next clock, ladies and gentlemen, is quite important. Why is that? Because it's an antique shelf clock executed by the legendary horologist, Aaron Willard, a true pioneer of American history. He worked extensively in Roxbury, Massachusetts and introduced the first economically accessible timepieces in the United States of America. This is truly a clock for the ages as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you a beautiful mahogany case grandfather clock with, with five tubes. Just look at this dial here. Gilt, silvered, beautiful, absolutely exquisite. Here's a beautiful calendar clock, absolutely exquisite. As you see here, you have the day of the week and the month, obviously in the time executed by Seth Thomas. Last but certainly not least is this grouping of clocks here, comprised of a Scottish clock from Glasgow, Scotland, and a beautiful Irish clock hailing from Dublin. Now, why are these clocks so intriguing and why are they being sold together? To make it interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because there's going to be what will surely be an exciting rugby match taking place in France featuring Ireland versus Scotland in this rugby tournament. And what a great way to celebrate an Irish victory over Scotland by having these two clocks in your home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a wonderful section that I'd like to share with you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, coins, watches, paper money, and some choice clocks. All right, let's start off over here, ladies and gentlemen, with this beautiful selection of pocket watches. We have ladies' pocket watches, men's pocket watches, and a beautiful Matty Tissot skeletonized pocket watch executed in stainless. Very lovely. What do I have here? Ladies' vintage platinum watch, diamond accented, 14 karat gold brooch watch, beautiful stainless Omega, and over here, this is a very fascinating cuff watch executed in 14 karat gold. We have the American Eagle and we also have the Mexican Eagle. That's right, both state eagles here, ladies and gentlemen, on one watch. Very intriguing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a very lovely classic Movado watch here in gold on a bracelet. Here we have another beautiful ladies gold bracelet watch with a mosaic opal dial and a diamond accented surround. Over here, we have a very intriguing French, uh, Swiss watch. Beautiful gold Swiss watch, vintage. Now we have an interesting redialed Omega with diamond accents added to the dial on an aftermarket 14 karat white gold band. Two piece strap there, 14 karat aftermarket. Classic Bowman Mercier, 14 karat gold. Moving over here to my beautiful new watch box, we have a spectacular triple date Bauman Mercier watch executed in stainless. Very beautiful. Directly next to that, spectacular vintage Breitling. Next to that, beautiful vintage stainless Omega. And directly next to that is a beautiful ladies tankard uh, by Cartier executed in stainless. Moving along, we have an excellent Rolex Explorer, ladies and gentlemen, with box and papers. Really lovely here, great condition on this watch. 
Now for the second auction in a row, I am very lucky and very fortunate to offer you yet again another Brugay, ladies and gentlemen. This Brugay is executing 18 karat yellow gold with an absolutely exquisite machined dial. This dial is one for the ages. Be sure to read about it. There's many articles written about this and the process because it was very difficult to create that dial. Now, the first clock I'd like to share with you is this beautiful Cartier clock that I unfortunately met. I've had a bit of an accident, but that's okay. I won't blame the owner. Beautiful rose quartz bezel here or remnants of. Excellent clock, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we're moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, to two absolutely spectacular Cartier desk clocks. That's right, these are the Ni Plus Ultra of Cartier clocks. This beautiful clock features, obviously, a clock on the obverse and on the reverse, a barometer. Spectacular, beautiful base here. Next up, we have an exquisite rock crystal Cartier clock beautiful diamond accented hands. This is truly a masterpiece. And be sure to read my descriptions. I put a lot of effort into these and took a number of photographs. Moving right along to the final clock is this absolutely beautiful French carriage clock in a Corniche cache. It is a repeater, ladies and gentlemen, and it's retailed by Black Star and Frost out of New York. Beautiful piece. All right, jumping to a different category now, I have three national notes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a $10 and a $20 from Allentown, PA. And then I have a national note from Bronxville, New York. I love Bronxville. I reside there. That's a great note. Moving along, I have a beautiful Russian 10 ruble gold coin here. I do have a nice description there on that. I have an American Indian head. And then here, I have two English sovereigns. I couldn't potentially have an auction without a Japanese sword. That's right, beautiful signed Wagasashi blade here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely exquisite, beautifully lacquered saya. Actually a nice handle as well. I'd like to share with you this beautiful telescope hailing from Birmingham, England, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, this is an exquisite piece. Just take a look at the sheer magnitude of the size of this and this beautiful wood stand. What a great piece to have next to your window in your home. Every decorator should be all over that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for me. I look forward to seeing each and every single one of you here at Clark Auction Gallery on October 15th, beginning at 10 a.m. And be sure to view our website, clarkny.com, to view all of our amazing and spectacular items. I look forward to seeing you and happy bidding.